welcome back to the Piston Show. So today we are here at the Proton Center of Excellence by invitation from Proton to check out the facelifted Proton X50. Well, what's new and is it exactly a major face facelift or a minor facelift? We do not know yet. We're about to find out in a couple of minutes, but first breakfast. And uh, quite, it's going to be quite an interesting day because they said that we're going to drive the car on track here at the Proton Test Track in Shah Alam. So what's in store for us? Watch out and I'll bring you more in this video and tell you everything that you need to know about the new Proton X50. But before that, as usual, a quick acknowledgement of our sponsor and their awesome products. Hey guys, what are some of the things that you consider when choosing a petrol brand? For me, I make sure that the petrol can keep my engine clean and also give me better mileage. I'm sure everybody thinks about this when choosing a particular brand. With BH Petrol's Infinity Ron 95 Euro 4 m you get precisely that. It has special German additives that reduces the amount of deposits that build up in your engine over the long term, keeping it clean. It also has improved friction modifiers that reduces the amount of friction that your engine has to go through, ultimately giving you better mileage and making BH Petrol's Infinity Ron 95 Euro 4 m the right choice. From the outside, actually it doesn't look much different. That's because that's not much different at all. From the offset, it looks, well, as I always like to say, same old, same old. And that continues on from the side here as well. You still get the same 18 inch wheels with the same design as well. This is where the real difference really lies. So in previous X50 models, the the powered tailgate was, was variant specific the flagship and the premium had a powered tailgate now though with the updated x50 all the variants get a powered tailgate so it's no no matter which variant you choose you're going to get a powered tailgate so that is one of the main key difference over here now the other thing is proton was eager to also tell us that the nvh levels for the new updated x50 has also been dramatically improved with over 20 points around the car that have, that have had their NVH levels improved. Now this should improve the vibrations in the car, the noise dampening in the car, and improve the overall quality while you're driving the, Proton, the new Proton X50. However, the real dif difference of the new facelifted Proton X50 actually lies inside. Let's go see. Now, one of the biggest updates for the new Proton X50, the 2024 X50, is the size of the infotainment system. Now, it measures in at 10.3 inches. In previous versions, the size of the infotainment system would actually depend on the variant that you choose. Now though, no matter which variant that you choose, you're going to be getting a 10.3 inch infotainment system. Now, this also comes with a Spotify music app. Does it come with Apple CarPlay? I'll answer that towards the end of the video. But as far as the infotainment system goes, Proton says that this, it has a higher resolution, a 1920 by 720 resolution. It also has a new dual quad core processing unit, 2 GB of RAM and 64 GB of storage space. As far as computing performance goes, that's 3.3% faster, three times three uh, times faster uh, it has a 33% faster boot up time and 55% faster loading time. Now, if you've, dr if you've driven previous generations Proton X50s, you'll know that the infotainment system takes some time to load up. Well, not anymore. This is supposed to be quicker and better. Now, as far as the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto goes, during the briefing this morning, Proton was also a spokesperson for Proton also said that it's going to be coming this year is just a matter of licensing so we are not too far away from the introduction the the <laughs> finally having apple carplay and android auto in proton cars another update to the new 2024 proton x50 is the 360 camera the resolution of this is actually stunning to say the least now you see all around you the definition is clear you can see everything quite clearly and there's no doubt at all that you know there's no chances of you missing anything 
but what I'm really impressed by is that it works. Now, every time you give your signal, it shows what's on your right. Now, it, once you go turn off the signal, it turns off again. And to your left, it shows what's on your left. This is great because it works in conjunction with your blind spot monitoring system as well. Very much like Honda's Lane Watch Assist. Uh, what Honda's Lane Watch Assist only works on the left hand side. This actually works on both left and right. And it also has a blind spot monitoring system as well. So it works in conjunction with blind spot monitoring together with this camera, giving it a level of safety that uh, you have not seen in the previous generation Proton X50. So that's it. That's the updates for the new Proton, the 2024 Proton X50. As I've said earlier, all variants now come with a power tailgate. All variants also get a 10.3 inch infotainment system with Spotify. All of them get an improved processor and a very cool 360 degree camera. That resolution on that camera is absolutely stunning and I really like how the camera works in conjunction with the blind spot monitoring system very much like Honda's Lane Watch Assist that as I've said earlier giving it a level of safety uh, for the new 2024 Proton X50. Now we're going to take it for a short drive but there's no update to the powertrain so I'm expecting it to feel the same as well. Let's go. So as far as NVH levels go, you'll see a dramatic improvement in here. We are here at the Proton test track which means that it's probably not a very ideal scenario because I mean it's a test track so obviously it's a very nice place to be and I'm right here at the uppermost level of the banking of the 45 degree banking which is quite intimidating at first but once you get a hang of it it actually feels really nice now I just don't want to stop but I'm supposed to tell you how this car feels and I can tell you that you do feel the imp improvement in NVH levels but as far as the powertrain goes, it just feels the same as before. The same, well, that's not to be, that's not surprising though, considering it's still the same 1.5 liter turbocharged three cylinder engine, making about 177 PS and 255 Newton meters of torque, which basically is the same powertrain as before. Uh, power is sent to the wheels via a seven speed DCT gearbox, and it still has that same very impressive complete ADAS safety system complete with adaptive cruise, cruise control with stop and go function. So for those of you who, who, who have the previous generation model, you're going to be probably be thinking that you know, you're probably not going to feel short change. This is after all more of a tech and a specs upgrade rather than an all new, well, rather than a facelift model. So. Should you be considering one? I see. I don't see why not. The Proton X50 has always been a very nice car to drive. The, the powertrain has been amazing. The amount of features that you get for the money has also been very impressive as well. The Proton has not told us about the pricing of the new uh, Pro Proton X50 simply because at the time of this video, everything has been is still under embargo. But just for information, the previous generation model was priced from 86,300 ringgit for the entry level standard variant all the way up to 113,300 ringgit for the flagship variant which also gives you a panoramic roof. So inside here it still feels well same old same old. It's a very nice place to be in no doubt NVH level has been dramatically improved and it still is a very nice car to drive. As I said as as of this video, I still do not know the pricing and when the car is going to be launched, everything is under embargo. So if you're watching this video, that means that the, the, Proton, the new 2024 Proton X50 has already been launched. So if I know anything about the pricing as of, the, as of now, I'll put that in the description box below. So just a recap, it's more of a tech and a specs upgrade rather than a facelift. So let me know what you think about the new 2024 Proton X50 in the comment section below.